I am Kirby Reed. I'm teaching uh, Peak River Ecology. We are out here. Um, it, today is the 21st of uh, October. This is about three weeks after the restoration. We come here to look at what they have actually done. We're going to do a stream reach survey where we're going to measure the width of the river and the obstacles and rocks and logs that they put into the river. We're also doing a um, macro invertebrate study, which will indicate water quality. And we're also making uh, other physical type tests, nitrates, dissolved oxygen, phosphates, those kinds of things. So compared to our first visit, there are huge changes here, as, as you'll probably see in some of the other pictures. There are huge rocks that they put in. We have um, logs now creating pools and habitat for macroinvertebrates and the fish that will eat the macroinvertebrates. Um, I'm really surprised at how much they've actually done here. The uh, river hopefully will be studied over the next few years and we'll see a real positive change for fish habitat. The one big change I've noticed in uh, the stream reach is the willows. They took, they cut pieces of the willows and staked it into the sides of the banks so that it, they can grow and prevent erosion when the water comes uh, rushing by. And I'd be excited to see how well this stream, or this part of the stream holds together um, in the years to come, especially after big winters. We were measuring the distance from the left bank to the right bank to compare the data from before the restoration. Here we're looking at macroinvertebrates we found in the river. Uh, so right here where all these tree trunks were, there was nothing here. No tree trunks, this big mountain of dirt wasn't here. They completely, they hollowed out like a ledge sort of thing for ripples to come through. And then down on past that, they, have, they put in a bunch of big rocks for pools and stuff like that. 